everything that's going to come to the windshield is going to be based on the driver's perspective. Car is already. Whenever you have a, whenever you're in your car today, you're able to see the tire pressure, the oil. You're able to see the gas, the battery life, and all of that. It's still able to do that. It scans all of that before you start. But Samsung has stepped it up enough. If you're wearing your Galaxy watch, you're also able to see your pressure and all the things that are important for your health. So now both you and the car are ready to take off. It shows you the path that you're going to take, the miles per hour, and the distance to go that you have to get there. The path, as you see, is laid out for you. It will continue to be laid out throughout the whole journey. Sometimes you might have to deviate from that path. Something might happen. Like an ambulance might come over, as you can see, to the left. When it comes over, when the ambulance passes, it shoots information back to the car to let you take a blood type of the person in the ambulance and let's see if you want to help. You have the number of seconds left before the light changes, but it also senses the pedestrian, so we're keeping them safe when the car is in motion. We're taking back off. On the passenger side, you're able to select from icons if you want to order a pizza or order a coffee and pay for it. When you come into the coffee shop, it's ready. You pay for it. I mean, you don't have to pay for it. It's already paid for it, and you can take back off. We're about to get on the interstate. When you get on the interstate, it becomes a self-driving vehicle. You don't have to do anything with it. If you want to do a teleconference, if you want to do anything else, truck just pulled in front of us. We can see what's in front of the truck because the car in front of us is, or a vehicle in front of us, is transmitting information back to us. We continue along. When we exit the interstate, it goes back where you're manually driving it again. The path is still there. We just continue to give you the path of where you're going. It's sensing anything that's there as far as hazards, road signs, or anything. Here we see that there's a deer crossing. It starts to sense if there's any animals or anything crossing that pathway. There it is. The car senses it, it slows down, it stops, allows the deer to cross, and then you can resume your driving. The path is still there for you to follow to get to your destination. In this case, the destination is a campsite. We're trying to get to the dump site and enjoy ourselves, but we don't want to waste a whole lot of time. Because we're interacting with the infrastructure, we know the grilling area is over here, the cabins are there, the boats are over here, so we don't have to try to figure out where we're going once we're at the campsite. What Samsung has done with augmented reality is take it to the next level and again provide you with the future of NBA experience using that augmented reality.